I want to talk about the proper way to do a plank. Uh, a lot of people like to do the plank to help to strengthen their core muscles. Uh, the core muscles are a group of muscles that actually come from about your knee up to your shoulder. Uh, the National Academy of Sports Medicine suggests that it's a group of about 24 different muscles. The muscle that I want to specifically think about today is what's called the transverse abdominis. It's a fancy word, I know. Uh, but to give you a little bit more of an explanation, you have your rectus abdominis, which is the superficial muscle on the outside. You have the external oblique, and then you have the internal oblique running basically at a 90 degree angle of each other. And below those three layers, you have something called your transverse abdominis. It actually wraps around from your, sp from your spine and all the way around. It's almost like a, a back brace, like you've seen the guys at Lowe's or Home Depot that wear those, those back braces. That's what your transverse abdominis is. It actually helps to stabilize that spine. Uh, when we dissect it in anatomy class, there's, only, there's a little spot that you can actually feel that transverse abdominis. And it's really right by that bone, your hip bones here in the very front, and about an inch in. So it's almost like mid-clavicle and all the way down. So it's right mid-clavicle down, just to the inside of these bones, mid-clavicle, mid-collarbone, uh, all the way down just inside those bones right there, and that's where you can really feel that muscle. So when we do this plank, the one thing that I want you to think about doing, instead of like pushing out and contracting your abdominals, I want you to think about pulling your belly button in towards your spine, and that will help to get that transverse abdominus engaged. Now don't pull it in too much, and pull it in so much where you can't breathe and you can't talk normally, but you want to be able to pull that in in order to be able to get the transverse abdominis to engage. The second tip that I want to give you is not to lock your elbows out. I see that uh, quite often whenever I'm cueing somebody to do a, a plank, they want to lock those elbows out. So one way to avoid that is just to do it uh, with your arms bent, or when you're uh, doing a high plank, just make sure that those elbows stay bent. The third thing that I want to recommend you doing is almost kind of rounding out your shoulders when you do that because that will get another very important muscle called your serratus anterior. And you can kind of see that muscle sometimes up underneath that armpit. I call it the rocky muscle because when you see them in Rocky IV you can see those uh, striations that come right across there. But that's a very, very important muscle to help your shoulder blade do the right things when you start doing overhead movements. And it's a muscle that I have to work on uh, a lot of the times with a lot of my shoulder patients. So I want to kind of demonstrate this for you as well. So as we start to come down into this position here, I don't want your elbows locked out. I, I want them a little bit bent. So my elbows are a little bent. I'm actually going to round my back, if you could see that right there, to engage that serratus anterior. And then I'm going to pull in on my belly button to get that to engage right inside of that hip bone there. So then you can hold that. You should still be able to breathe and talk normally. So that's the plank. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to uh, reply below, uh, like it. Feel free to send us an email. Let us know what we can do to help you.